<laughs> right, Easy E. So I'm, I ain't gonna lie, I'm talking to Easy like this. All right, Easy E. <laughs> what you want with? Hey, can you just sing a little? They told me about you. So I started, and so they started feeding me, put on your red dress. And I was, you know, like, you, know, you know, house in my home. Anything at all. You can have it all. Make it love. And so when I did that, Easy said, that's him. That's him. <laughs> Yeah, we on Boss Talk One One. Okay, you 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 went to Easy. You didn't bounce the way away from. Okay, EZ. I'm sorry. Okay, so I want to hear about Easy too. <laughs> you can't just skate across. I rocked out with Easy, and and it didn't. You know, they picked him. And how did how was did you have a relationship with him? So this is what happened. The group. Um. So Easy liked the concept of the group, singing gangsters. He was like, "Oh, this is cool," and they had a nice look, but they didn't have a sound. So when I went and I auditioned, this is this is the, this is the truth. I went and audition. I went to this, and I wasn't. I really wanted my two cousins. My two cousins could sing really well. I come from a singing family, and so I wanted them to be a part of it. And I said, you know what? I'm in college now. I'm about to graduate. I'll be a manager. So I went to one cousin, and I didn't know that he was he was on drugs, and I didn't know that, and I couldn't find him for the audition. Mm -hmm. My other cousin, DeAndre, he, he he he's still a minister of music right now in the Bay Area. Uh, mm -hmm. I went to him. He said, God told me I'm not doing circular. I'm mm -hmm. gonna do, and I'm like this. If I tell you I'm gonna do something, I'm gonna tell you about Deuce. If I tell you I'm gonna do something, I'm gonna either try to do it or my best. If I can't do it, I'm gonna try my best to do it. And my people and my friends and DJ Cali Remix will tell you, if I say I'm gonna do something, I go ahead and I say, okay, I'm gonna do it. So you're a man of your word. Yeah, I'm a man. Well, see, and that's another thing we need to teach about today's society. We got to start being men of our word. If we say we're going to do something, do it. If you, you say you're going to email somebody, email, email somebody. Yes. If but you say you're coming I... back in a little bit, come back in a little bit. Don't say it if you're not going to do it. it. You know? So I went to the audition. Call somebody, you know, so, no, hey, I'm going to call you. I hate that. Just, you know, and my thing, <laughs> call is, somebody. And my thing is, I went to the audition thinking, because my mom, I ain't going to lie, my mom, we got into an argument. And my mother said, Negro, you just want to do it for yourself. And I said, no, ain't true. But my mother told me she was trying to talk me out of it. She knew that I really wanted to do it myself. So I went to this uh, DJ, and I told him, I said, hey, I think I'm going to go to this, inter this uh, um, audition. I need a song. And so he gave me a Temptation song and gave me the Johnny Gill, My, My, My. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to be honest with y'all. I'm bad with lyrics sometimes. Sometimes I have, to, I have to sing a song sometimes 20 times just so I can remember the song. And so I, only, I didn't have a lot of time. Even today, you're still like I, that. I, I, oh yeah, oh, he was asking me that. A glimpse that. What do you do? I sing and sing and sing in my head. Sometimes people are like, "Are you offering another word?" No, I'm thinking the lyrics right now. Okay. I'm like in my head because I'm like I need to make sure. Okay. And I go like sometimes we cheat. Sometimes you do. The, some people don't even know you do the first verse mm -hmm. over again and they don't even realize it. But but um, what happened is I went in there and um, I put on the my 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 and back then you know we had the cassette you hit tapes. that thing then we had the and so I'm all my 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 and I'm like oh shit I don't know excuse my friend <laughs> I don't know the rest of the song so I just my 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 my, my, my. Just, I just, and got in my witness you remember those remember they used to have the uh, curtains that used to go like this yeah, yeah. and the multi purpose and this white boy opens up the curtain and runs out and at that time. In the 90s, they were doing it in Cali. They would call you and say, hey, you want a television? Come in. And you go there, in a warehouse, and you think, and you go, oh, actually, you have a warrant for your arrest. <laughs> <laughs> they would. They was doing that. Right. And I thought, oh, my God, I did something I forgot. So I just take off running. No. And the guys in the group that were there, they used to carry these little bats. I don't know if y'all see some pictures. We got pictures where we had our names on bats. And they just instinctively picked up the bats and ran after me. So I thought, oh, they, they trying go, to beat me down. No. <laughs> I don't know what I did. And I'm thinking, oh, my God, like, you know, y'all gangsters, y'all got to Pendleton Zone, you're sagging. Like, what I'd like... I'm like, did I do something before I left mm. went to school and didn't remember it? So they was running. They go, no, 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 no. His name, and his name was um, Terry Heller. Okay. And it was Jerry Heller's nephew. Damn mm. Jerry and, Heller. And what happened is he goes, oh, no, 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 no. It, it, it's cool. It's all good. It's all good. He said, no, I just haven't heard a voice like yours. Because now, mind you, I didn't think that out of everyone in the family, I thought I had the worst voice. Wow. Because I was a Teddy Pendergrass kind of singer. Mm. Yeah, 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 yeah. Everybody else had them sweet melodic, you know. Right. And I thought, well. But nobody... I was, that's what made you different from everybody. Did else. you do the my God, my God? My God, my God. Could you pass on a message for me? <laughs> Tell him to put down those dice for a second, Lord. And I sang a little bit in the front part too, a little bit. I Just see. Little bit. I heard it when you said that they had to come get you. Yeah. So, so when it, so when it happened, so what happened is they said, no, no, no. We're just trying to find. So 
I thought that they was full of shit. She mm-hmm. like, can I cuss on here? <laughs> you good, oh, man. I thought it was full of shit. I said, these niggas ain't shit. And I thought, if y'all like my voice, what the hell y'all sound like? <laughs> what the hell y'all sound like? So what happened is, um, so EJ was like, man, we need you. So they said, well, we're not saying that you're in the group, but <laughs> can we get your information, your email? Can we, you know, like where you at? And I, I just happened to come home because I was interning for Channel 3. Because mm-hmm. I'm being honest with you. What I really wanted to be, I didn't even have an earring in my ear back then. Because I wanted to be a telecaster. I wanted mm. to be on the news. I, I wanted to either be a sportscaster. I wanted to be like, well, you know. Who today inspired the news, you to, to want to be that? Um, You know what? Uh, how Growing say. up. No, growing up. <laughs> no, no, no. Growing up, I, 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 liked, I liked acting. And I did like to sing, but I didn't think I was a great singer. I thought, I ain't gonna lie, I thought I was, I wanted to be Denzel. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to be, I wanted to be an actor, like a serious actor, go out there, you know, get awards and stuff like that. So I never really thought that, and my mother said that, I always thought you'd be an actor. I never thought the singing part mm. would come along. So um, so the next day, I'm asleep, and I, I come from one of them traditional, my mama is one of them church, you know, the saved, sanctified, filled with the Holy Spirit kind mm-hmm, of mm-hmm. ladies. And someone, All right. Someone called us at six o'clock in the morning and my mother was like, this better be good. Mm-hmm. She woke me up and I was like, I get on the phone and um, God's my witness, the homeboy from Chris Pick, they call him Pick, uh, he was like, hey, hey, uh, Lamar, uh, can you can you do a little Jodeci? And I was like, um. At, in the morning? Yeah, I was like, oh, dude. Are I you just, just waking up. up your voice, not all like, that great? And I go, I don't really know. The, can you, you got to feed me. The, oh, well, this is easy on the phone with me. And I was like, <laughs> nigga, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> right, easy. So I'm, I ain't going to lie, I'm talking easy like this. All right, easy. <laughs> what you want with? Hey, can you just sing a little? They told me about you. So I started, and so they started feeding me. Put on your red dress. And I was just, you know, like, you know, you know, house in my home. And it's thing at all. You can have it all. Make it love. And so when I did that, easy said, That's him. That's him. That's it. That's it. <laughs> and so he said, um, What you doing tomorrow? I said, what? I got I said, what are we doing tomorrow? And he said, I need your name. I need your, you know, your, he needed all the information. And um, one thing I have to say about Easy, he he got me a ticket. He got us a ticket the next day, mm. and we flew out to L.A. and we were met at the um, airport with Holes with Attitude. Remember Holes with Attitude? Mm-hmm. They was there, and you know, he was like, whatever you want. I mean, he was just very accommodating, and it was cool. We met with them. They liked us, and then we heard that there was another group. And they were from St. Louis, and that was Bone Thugs and Harmony. And they was like, we did it. Back then, This is, I'm real old school. We had things called demo deals. Okay. And the demo deals were three months. They gave you a three, month, um, three months to be on the demo deal. And after the three months, once three months was up, they had one day to either decide to keep you or let you go. Mm-hmm. And I was told that, um, because at the time, Suge Knight was interested in us. Um, we had a lot of people that were interested in the group. And um, at the time, our production company, Whole Nine, um, they had just signed a contract with MC Hammer. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101.